All right, I want you to really listen to this, guys. I mean, what happens at the end? What are we all looking forward to? This is Revelation 21, King James Version. Start at number one. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. See, in John's vision, the old earth, after the war, after the Armageddon, had passed away. He says there was even no more sea. And he saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, and it came down from God out of heaven. And prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, it means it had all the bells and whistles. This thing sparkled. This thing was beautiful. This new Jerusalem. Prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And it continues, number three. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Pay attention to this one here. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. Neither sorrow. Nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. You see, in New Jerusalem when he comes back. The former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end Pay attention to this. I will give unto him that is a thirst. That means if you're thirsty of the fountain of the water of life, he'll give it to you freely. Let's read it again. He says, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is thirsty. That means you have a thirst, you have a desire for the fountain of the water of life. It means you are thirsty, thirsty for the water of life. Well, what's the water of life? It's the living water, it's the Holy Spirit. And the Father says, I will give unto him freely. So Father's given you the Holy Spirit freely. Father's given you the water of life. He's given it to you freely. You must have a thirst. You must have a desire for it. And He gives it freely. 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his God. And he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars it says they shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. 
Now what this means, this is the spirit death. This is where your soul is wiped out. Man can kill your physical, but your spirit or soul will experience the second death. Nine. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues. So one angel out of seven, one angel held seven vials. Each vial had a plague in it. Seven vials and seven plagues, one angel. And he talked with me saying, Come hither, and I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. Now it says Jesus is the head. Jesus is the head of the body, and the body is Christians. The group of us on earth as believers, we are the body, and we're his bride. The Lamb and Jesus were his bride. Ten, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and he showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of the heaven from God. So this is new Jerusalem he's showing him. Having the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. had a great and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates and at the gates 12 angels and the names written thereon which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel okay so New Jerusalem New Jerusalem it had the glory of God and it gave off light. And the light was like unto a stone most precious, even like jasper, and it was clear as crystal. So this bright crystal city giving off light and the glory of God is descending from heaven. And it had a wall that was great and high with 12 gates in it. And each gate, there was an angel that stood at the gate and each gate had written on it one of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel and on the east there was three gates and on the north three gates and on the south three gates and on the west three gates so this describes the city descending as a square maybe or it could be a round city and it could still have north south east and west on it um, I'm gonna have to find out a little more on that for you 14 and the wall of the city had 12 foundations and in them the names of the 12 apostles of the lamb these are the apostles that walked with Jesus physically the 12 apostles so the city of holy Jerusalem it was full of light and the glory of God it was like a clear stone a precious stone like Jasper clear as crystal it had a very high wall with 12 gates and each gate stood an angel and each gate had the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel Three on the east, north, south, and west. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations named after the 12 apostles of the Lamb. And he that walked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square. Okay. So this is telling me that it's a square in answer of the other question. The city lieth four square, and the length was as large as the breadth. 
and he measured the city with the reed and twelve thousand furlongs. The length and breadth and the height of it are equal. Okay, that answers the question. It's a cube. And he measured the wall thereof. And hundred and forty and four cubits according to the measure of a man that is of the angel. And the building of the wall as it was of jasper. And the city was pure gold. Like unto clear glass. And the city was made out of gold, but it too was clear. Like looking out a golden window. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The, founda the first foundation was jasper. The second, sapphire. The third, mm, chalcedony. The fourth, emerald. The fifth, sardonyx. The sixth, sardius. The seventh, Chrysolite, the eighth barrel, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysoprasus, the eleventh Jason, the twelfth, and amethyst. So the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with precious stones. And we see that this number twelve is get back again. There was twelve layers foundations there was 12 foundations and the 12 gates were 12 pearls every several gate was of one pearl and the street of the city was pure gold as it were transparent glass and I saw no temple therein for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it let me read this to you one more time listen to this and I saw no temple the city he's in New Jerusalem City and he sees no temple for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb it says they are the temple of of it which means New Jerusalem resides in them in Lord God Almighty and the Lamb they are the temple of it it resides in them so when this city descends from heaven it will be within the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb 23 and the city had no need for Sun neither of the moon to shine in it for the glory of God did lighten it and the lamb is the light thereof so the glory of God was bright it, it lighted up the whole city the glory of God well what is the glory of God that gives off the light and tells us right here the lamb is the light thereof And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day. For there shall be no night there. That means when this city arrives, its gates are always open. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations to it. Once it's here, remember it says all knees will bow. And once it arrives, they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And there shall be and there shall be no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie. But they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. See, now listen to this again, because if you're not, if your name isn't in this book, 
you are not coming in to New Jerusalem. It says, and there shall in... It says, and there shall in no wise enter into it. It means you ain't getting in. What's not getting in? Anything that defileth, or anything that worketh abomination, or anything that maketh a lie. The only thing getting in, the only people getting in are the ones written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Make sure you're in that book. God bless you all. I love you.